Hi, my name is Sanjay and in this session I'm going to talk about a food chemist. But before that, let's go back in time to the 5th of August 2013. On this day, various journalists from around the world assembled in a London television studio. They had come to witness the world's first hamburger made of meat which was not taken from an animal but grown from scratch in a laboratory. The world currently uses 30% of its land to either raise livestock or to raise food for these animals. In the lab, however, a single stem cell from one such animal could generate 20,000 tons of meat. This quantity of meat would generally come from half a million animals. Let me pause for a second here and focus on the word food. In some form or another, this is one of the first words we utter as a child. What's for dinner tonight? This is one conversation we humans have on a daily basis. A vast amount of our brain power is spent finding out what to eat. And boy, has our food evolved. Our food today has a close relationship with science. Science is used to modify food items and even create entirely new ones. Science is used to preserve foods. Science is used to improve the taste of food and how it looks to our eyes. Science is also used to create healthier foods by either increasing its useful properties or reducing its harmful ones. Food scientists have also contributed in the fight against hunger and malnutrition by developing affordable and nutritious foods. The food industry is a key industry for any country, both to feed its people as well as generate revenue from exports. And this industry employs large numbers of people with different skills and one key person is a food chemist. Let us understand what a food chemist does by focusing on two words, food and chemistry. And if both words mean a lot to you, then listen carefully please. A food chemist spends a lot of time in a lab which is also his or her kitchen. But unlike a chef who focuses mainly on food, the food chemist focuses on the chemistry of food. As the ingredients on any packaged food item would demonstrate, our foods can be broken down into chemical components. And food chemists focus on these components. They experiment with chemical proportions to improve the flavors and nutritional quality of foods. Our supermarkets are filled with food products on shelves and in freezers. Our food products also come with guidelines on how they should be cooked or by when they should be consumed. It is the food chemist who influences how food items are developed, processed, packaged, stored and distributed. And it is the food chemist who ensures that food items meet food laws and labeling requirements. So the next time you check the ingredients or expiry date on a food item, do think about the food chemist. Now let us look at the educational qualifications needed for this role. You should have a sound background in the basic sciences when you complete metric or grade 12. The basic sciences are physics, chemistry and biology. Typically, food chemist jobs require at least a bachelor's degree in food science, food chemistry or other related fields. Many students also consider masters and doctoral studies. Pursuing higher studies gives you a deeper knowledge of the important areas of nutrition chemistry. Apart from increasing your employment opportunities, higher studies also help if you want to get into research or teaching positions. I would advise you to check various educational websites for more information. If there is a university or college close to where you live, go there and talk to students and professors. This will give you a good idea of what you need. Food chemists are typically hired by food and beverage companies and other organizations that conduct research concerning the improvement of food products and food product ingredients. They are also hired by food regulatory bodies and academic institutions to teach food chemistry and related courses. I want to talk about one last point before concluding this session. We all use printers for printing documents and pictures. But what if printers could print out food items? What if we fed ingredients into various printer cartridges and the printer generated a pizza for us? 3D printing is a reality and NASA has already implemented a study to see how 3D food printers 
would work on space missions. And a key person who figures in this project is a food chemist. Thank you and good luck.